like to quickly give a shout out to Sam Tucker for helping me come up with the idea to do a QA. and a He messaged me and he's been a lot of help, so go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel, so don't forget to go check him out, subscribe. He's amazing, he's funny, and he is just brilliant. Not gonna lie, she's kinda right. No, but really guys, go check out her channel. The link will be in the description. She gave me a shout out. I feel like I should give her one. She's great. She used to live in Western. She's one of our friends. But she's done two videos and she's already over 100 subscribers and that makes me sad because I have taken nearly a year to hit 100. It's radiated, it's really hot. Anyway, today I'd like to talk about teacher logic and types of teachers you may have seen in the title. Now, I'm not sure this happened to anyone else, but it definitely happened to me. Has anyone had that teacher that has go, okay, they've gone, Okay, you've done your test, okay, now peer assess it, or self-assess it, and it's like, hold on, why do I? Why do we have to do this? To be honest, I still don't know to the day, but I know one teacher goes, well, you should know what it's like for a teacher to have to mark all of our work. It's like, well, hold on, hold on, let's backtrack a bit. You took the career path, you wanted to become a teacher, obviously, you wouldn't have. If you didn't want to be a teacher, you wouldn't have been a teacher, like, I'm not, I don't want to be a teacher when I'm older. I don't really want to teach kids, so I don't want to have to mark homework. But the fact that they're like, oh, but it's it's hard, isn't it? Probably, but that's that's your job. That's your problem. We didn't sign up for it. You're just tough luck, tough luck. Okay. So get back to your job of marking our work, and we'll get back to our compulsory job or whatever it is of having to go to school every day. That's. That's surely good enough. Now definitely the teacher's favourite sentence, and they'll always find a way to say it. The bell goes to get up to pack away. Excuse me. The bell does not dismiss you. I dismiss you. Bitch, what's the bell for then? The teachers will then reply, oh but that's just to tell us what the time is. There's a fucking clock in the room. We know what the time is, we have phones. Although, only people in my school will get this. The non-negotiables will say otherwise. It's those teachers that will keep you behind a lesson just because you've not done enough work, even though you've done, like, that you would have done a word limit thing and you would have explained yourself perfectly, but they still won't let you fucking go. Now, another type of teacher is when they give you an after school detention and go, I really did not want to do this, ow my, oh, my hand, I, just, I really did not want to do this, but I have to give you an after school detention, now I have to waste my time after school to punish you. It's like, well, excuse me. Excuse me. You don't have to do this. You could give me a lunchtime detention or a break time detention, or not a detention. If I haven't handed in my homework, just tell me to hand it in another day, and I will hand it in. This used to happen to me a lot. I used to. I was through my rebel stage. I'm, I'm glad I've surpassed that now. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It hasn't happened to me. I haven't had a detention for all of year ten or eleven. Now this happened to me a couple of days ago. It's like the Shia LaBeouf teacher. The one that is going, you can do it, nothing is impossible. It's, oh my god, miss, or sir, whatever, fuck off. It's like, in my maths class, we were, we had just finished the test, everyone got theirs back, and then there were these people going, I'm never gonna pass, this is stupid, what's the point of me learning, I'm not even gonna bother anymore. And then she got up and she was trying to do an inspirational speech, and it was, there was just me, like, pretty much just, summing up what she was saying to my friends to go, just do it, nothing is impossible, and just try the buff. This teacher, I, I'm not going to name him or her, because there are people watching this video that will know who I'm talking about, the loony teacher, the teacher that goes mad at anything and shouts, I can't do your GCSEs for you, and then starts cutting out her own hair. I have this teacher, and it's awful, like it's hilarious when she's shouting at someone that isn't you. When it's you, the temptation is to say, miss, miss, breathe in, hold it, hold it, she suffocated yet, hold it, hold it, and when she passes out, done, okay, I'm off. But seriously, this teacher has some problems. To be honest, I don't know how the school hired that teacher. She is a, she just can't function properly. And I just gave the gender away. And finally, I've actually finished all my teacher things, but what you've been waiting for for about six months, the giveaway winner. Are you ready for this? And the winner is Connor Mace. And I know who you are, so great, I have to give the book to you personally. So congratulations, Connor, you are now the winner of the Pointless Book 2, which 
it's been like on giveaway for months on end. Oh well. Congratulations. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to comment down below and like the video. It really helps me out and it helps the channel. It means I can make better content. And remember guys, live big, love more.